Day 10 of waiting for my ban list. What is going on here? Make sure you guys smash the and crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. And remember, Kong's Cards has everything that you're going to need up on pre-order. You want a case of Legacy of Destruction? You want Terminal Revenge? You want Infinite Forbidden Rarity Collection? They have it all. And remember, discount code mco 40 will save you on all of your purchases for everything that's available over here. Now, what's going on in today's market? I was expecting a ban list yesterday. Whew. I know, real shocker there, we didn't get one. Huh, what a terrible company, anyway. The Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. Now, what, what's very interesting to me about this is, please do take note of quantities, 51 and 74 here. Now, this goes from the past version down here. I actually got destroyed literally yesterday morning. Um, somebody came through here and took off large quantities of these. Um, at least, you know, some of the larger ones that were available. Now what you're looking at here is if, you know, these had listings of five, six, it uh, it doesn't look like you're going to have any in the super low quantity. Yeah, all the $1.99ers with shipping have been plucked off, putting this card at a solid $2. And uh, I, I can't say I'm not surprised. The Legendary Collection one, um, I guess... This one's not necessarily in the, a bad shape, but I mean, seeing one sell for 488, you know, does make you question. So it solidly looks like, as of filming this right now, that all copies of Dark Magician, The Dragon Knight, are solidly starting to rise. It's not like these movements are like huge, crazy swing indicators or anything, but it's enough that you have to take a look at these things and go, huh. Why is this going up in price? Why is this happening? And it's believe, I mean, people believe they're getting good deals. I mean, buying in bulk is a very real thing out here for these sorts of things. Um, I also did not know this, because uh, this isn't something that I, I think to look up, but release from stone. This Gladiator Beast Assault Common is actually worth money. Just select one of your remove from play rock type monsters that is removed from play. God, I love this old PCT and special summon it. When this card is removed from the field, destroy that monster. And when that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. It is a free monster reborn or a, a free bring back a rock friend out of play. And um, so you can get some Italian copies for $5 a piece. But I didn't realize this. This actually just got reprinted down here in the Speed Duel Midterm Paradox. I mean, like, the, the card, kind of like 25 cents at the moment. But, I mean, you you have eh, their sales data on this to back up that people have been looking at this. So, your release from Stone, I, I think this is one of those cards that you just you never think about. And then you're like, well, Gaia Plate, you know, the Earth Box stuff is going up. So, what's what's pursuing and forcing this other half of things to go up. Well, this is this is what's going on, actually. Hmm. Dino, Miscus, and Friends, Paleo cards. So the Candinas, you know, still 26. I feel like I'm in a time machine, first of all. But the fact that, you know, we've seen this thing rise up from $1.30 to $3. Yeah, penny stonks. This is what you love to see, I suppose. But overall, I mean... Dollar fifty-two, three. You're you're solidly looking at like four dollars per copy of these on on the up and up end here. I I'm not once again all that surprised to see that. Morella here coming in a nice two three dollars. Uh, man, Leia here coming in very cheap still, nice dollar. Uh, Olenoides forty cents. Dynamiski Nuggies. This is the nice cheap one because it got reprinted a second time. And of course, you know your exceed monsters aren't really doing anything too crazy back here, but it, it's enough that you know, ooh, the Penny Stonk department is starting to rise. Uh, debunk. Well, first of all. We've we've seen this in one, two, three Dynamorphia decks over the last weekend, last two, three weekends actually, and all I'm reading for people is why why is debunk going up in price? And it's like the the writing was on the wall. Like we've we've seen why this is going up. It's because people are taking note of, you know, the value that's kinda of present here and they're like, hey, you know, we can we can use this. It's it's 
an actual like good card and we're already playing the set everything game so we can just go ahead and kind of soul roll this it's not really much of a problem right like oh no promethean princess not a problem all right <laughs> just go ahead and use this to take care of it because you're just going to be doing your key plays on your opponent's turn anyway because of this uh, i find it a little bit interesting like even the commons are starting to gain some crazy value down here in power code link so uh transaction rollback first of all the collector's rares, I mean, for what you know, these just look like they've just gone down, but it looks like you're starting to plateau back up a little bit here, getting you about 73 to 75 dollars. And we're probably going to continue to see that upward swing here. Maze of Millennia Ultra Rares. Oh man, you uh, you do RIP to the people that paid a hundred dollars a copy on this. Uh, your upward tick, you, I mean. You're over the $30 mark. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that at this point. You're starting to head on up to the $32 mark, maybe even $33 here in the near future to uh, just have this card. And, you know, we're still waiting on a ban list, you know, if obviously nothing should happen to this card. But bear in mind, you know, once you kind of lock things in here for the future upcoming weeks and, you know, we can kind of start to see where we're going to head, then, you know, we can make those accurate decisions and figure out, hey, you know, what do we want to play with this for what resource and go from there. Duff's Tornado Secret Rares from the streets of the Doolin City. I, uh, you have another classic speed dual card that, you know, older formats want to see. And it's going up in price. Huh. You know, to the people that still don't think older format cards are driving the market, I say to you, ha! You have no idea how this game actually works. Uh, but yeah, you're looking at 10 to $11 right now. I think I'm up to 13 actually, on the super expensive end of things. SP Little Knight. You know, I'm... I'm, the fact that we're down to 475 here, um, actually watching that huge drop off, really, Konami limiting this card to two really scared people. They, they scared them enough that I, I think they really lost their minds here. Enough that, you know, people, I, I guess, are not wanting to invest, but okay. I mean, to be fair, as it should be. It looks like regular SP uh, versions here. Nice Koreans, Japanese, nice Asian English here. Super rare. You're really trying to get $80 on this. Nice meme. But yeah, you're looking about 91 to 95 for an English version of this. They're under 100 now. It's not a good under 100, but you know, we're, we're getting places. Progress. Wanted. Hmm. How, remember when this card was $120? Remember when it was 100 Remember when it went down to $42? Yeah, we're sitting at 42 right now. I do have a feeling that if this card dodges a TCG list and the TCG is like, hey guys, you know, you wanted to, uh, you wanted to unload these? Um, we'll probably see this spike up here. But for the current time being, you're looking at about $40 a copy of this. Obviously, once again, the entire ban list dictates this card's existence. Whether or not we expect this card to do an upsy down, spinny lefty, sideways, you know, what's it called? Okay. Uh, same thing with the Abel Star here. To be fair, you know, these are still 166 for the QCR. Not really crazy movements on this thing, but, you know, this version here. Uh, 39, 39, 39. Very solidly looks like we're back underneath the $40 mark, which, honestly, I, I'm cool with. I, I'm happy to see, you know, we've we've definitely, we, we're looking a lot more affordable, per se, here. And then, of course, your runic cards. Slight mirror, back down to 40 That's very doable. Love the, the Japanese version. Looks so clean for that secret rare. That's so good. Uh, runic tip coming in at 40 now for the collector's rare. How the mighty have fallen. $20 fountains, baby. Slight near coming in, eh, about nine bucks. Regular tips coming in about four to five. And then your prismatic secret rare is also about four to five. So it looks like both of these have kind of synced up here. You have that consistency that you're very used to wanting to see here. Uh, and of course, fountains, I'm mean, going to solid threes. And dispelling also coming in at dollars here. So most of your runic stuff, not really doing anything. I would say too crazy. Looks pretty safe across the board here for prices, but we'll have to wait and see. Once again, all of today's market is strictly dictated by whatever a possible upcoming list could bring to the table and, you know, drive us crazy with. So please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I will see your beautiful faces back here in the day, guys.
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.